Hey Joe, it's folks here. This is a custom shape pillow. It is a print on demand product. You can basically print a pillow in any shape that you want. And it is finally live inside of the Printify catalog. A few months ago, I showed this here on my channel and earlier this week, I ended up making a few sample designs of this product and I actually ordered them as samples. And once they arrive, I will be creating a full tutorial showing you how to make custom shape pillows like this. Today though, I want to take you through a full review of this store here. They are selling custom shape pillows. They have made over 100,000 sales. You can see that up at the top that they are loved by 100,000 plus customers. And if we scroll down to see some of the examples of some of their prices, you can see if we do the math on that, that this store is making a lot of money, potentially millions of dollars. And in the video today, we're going to break down their entire store. I'll talk about the order process as well that a customer would go through if they wanted to actually create a custom shape pillow on this website. We'll talk about some of the niches that they are selling in. I'll also give you some awesome niche ideas that you could try and we will break down their entire social media strategy including their Facebook and Instagram ads. If you want to see some of the other print on demand products that I've reviewed or stores that I've found that are really cool make sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel and if you need help building out your own store I do have my print on demand for dummies course. It is completely free. Inside you're going to get access to over 30 steps by step video showing you the process to actually build out your print on demand store and get started on social media. Like I said, it is completely free and there is a link down in the description. So this store here is called thunderbuddy.com. I think that's a really cool name because they've kind of given purpose to what they're actually doing. They are creating what they are calling a Thunder Buddy. It says here on the banner, create your own mini me. And then if you scroll down, they show a lot of different photos of the actual product. If you continue to scroll, you see even more of the niches that they're offering. You can do just custom face stuff. You can do pet pillows as well. They also have a line of small pillows that they are calling dog toys. They've also got this video here that they've created. Now, obviously, if you are a beginner, creating something like this might be a little bit out of your league. I think even for me, something like this might be tough for me to actually pull off. In this video, you will see different people holding the samples. Assuming these are paid actors, this is definitely something that would be kind of expensive to create. I think it's a nice touch, but I don't think it's actually necessary if you wanted to create something like this. Obviously, long term, having something like this is a great touch, though. Another thing this store has going for it is celebrity endorsements. You can see a GIF there of Ed Sheeran holding a pillow. They've also got dozens of customer photos showing themselves holding their Thunder Buddy. Overall, the store is definitely well put together. I do want to kind of break it down for a moment because it's actually quite simple. Sometimes when you're creating a print on demand store, I know for me, I always try to keep things very clean. I think the less like massive blocks of text you can have on the screen, the better. You can see here that they've started off with an image banner up at the top. Below that, they have a very short text block and then they have some images taking you to some different collections for the actual pillow. Below that as well, they've got some bestsellers and then below that as well, they break it down by type of pillow. The reason I show you that is because sometimes people create home pages for their store that are just way too large. They scroll on forever and ultimately it ends up looking looking a little bit cluttered. I always try to make my homepage look sort of like a brochure or I have just some information about what I'm offering and to see more, they have to click through to different pages. If you hover over their menu, you will see a lot of different niches that they have in here. They have everything from sports and animals to music to gym and fitness to gaming and food and pets and a whole bunch more. You can also search by occasion here. They have everything from birthdays and weddings to baby showers. You can also search by recipient. They have for him, for her, for kids, for family, and more. The list goes on and on. Ultimately though, if I was to create a store like this from scratch, I probably would not try to create all of that at the beginning. I think if you can establish one solid group of products that could be purchased in a specific niche or even for a specific recipient at the beginning, that would help you to get started quickly. Personally, like I said, if I was trying to start this store, I might try to do that with like four to six different design options. I also think ordering a sample of the actual product that you are selling could be great for this because what you are selling might be tough to actually pick up with a mock-up. Printify does provide you with some mock-ups of the product, but like I said, because this is a custom shaped pillow, it might be best represented by a real photo. Once I get my samples in and I create my tutorial video that I was talking about earlier, I will talk more about that. Here's an example of what it would look like for a customer to actually order one of these. You can see if I click on football, they have a bunch of different preloaded designs in here. 
here. Basically what they're doing is they're creating a design and then putting a face on it, uploading it into their actual store to create a mock-up like this. Something like this here obviously looks like the New England Patriots jersey. They don't have any logos here. They don't mention the Patriots or anything like that. So I don't think that this is actually a copyright or a trademark violation. It ultimately just says New England right here. And then the jersey is blue, red, and silver. Once you are on a product page, you can click customize here and it will take you to an entirely different window where you can actually create your custom pillow. This is the window that I am talking about right here. I have gone in and uploaded a photo of myself from elementary school. You can laugh in the comments if you want about this photo, but ultimately this is probably done with a lot of custom coding. I don't think you would actually need to do this to actually start selling something like this. Personally, I have done some work with custom photos before. This app here, Uploadery, will just give the customers the ability to upload their photo. They're not gonna get a live preview or anything like that. If you wanted to provide them with that after the fact, you could, but something like this would definitely be just fine. You can see here that I can resize my photo to get it to show up in the correct spot that I actually want it to. I am having some issue though, actually getting it to change on the left-hand side here. I think if I just zoom it in on my face like so, and then click confirm, we may be able to see an actual preview here and we can. And ultimately, again, the customer would kind of play with this. They would begin changing it to what they actually want to, and then they would click on confirm. And this is what we are ending up with. If I click next step here, it would allow me to go through the checkout process on their store. When it comes to social media, their Instagram page does not seem to be that active. They do have almost 16,000 followers. However, they have only made 10 posts here on the actual page. I think the reason for that is because they are selling in lots of different niches. So ultimately a social media organic strategy for a store like this is a little bit difficult because there's not just one niche that they are selling to. You can see here on their Facebook page that they've got just over 2000 followers. So they don't have a lot of followers. However, if you remember back on their actual store, they do have a lot of sales. I bring that up because sometimes people think that in order to do well with their store, they need to have lots and lots of followers. And the fact is, is that you do not need to have lots of followers to actually build yourself a profitable print on demand store. This page here is showing some of the active Facebook and Instagram ads that they are running. And it is very likely that they are getting the majority of their traffic through paid ads like this on Facebook and Instagram. Earlier, I mentioned my POD for Dummies course. It's completely free. If you want to go through it, you'll see all the steps to get started to actually set up your own ads on social media. If we scroll through here, we can see that they do have lots of ads. Some of them are just using simple images like this. Some of them have customer submitted photos like this. When it comes to figuring out how successful these are, obviously we cannot see their actual sales or anything like that. But what we can do is we can see the date that the ad actually started running. You can see that this ad here that I'm looking at actually started on September 8th, 2023. As I am making this video, today is March 11th, which means this ad has been running for like six months. And that means that they're likely making a decent amount of sales from it, or it would not be left on. A little bit further up the page as well, they have three more ads that have been running since November 9th, ultimately bringing them to just five total paid ads for their actual store. Personally, I start all of my ads, no matter what type they are, at $1 per day. And again, inside of my POD for Dummies course, I have some videos showing you how to get started with that. And like I said, very soon I will have a full tutorial on this. I've ordered two more samples from Printify with my own designs that I made. They created this one for me and sent it to me with the little POD Ninja here. Ultimately, what I want to try to do is put together a tutorial to show you how to actually go about creating your own custom shaped pillows like this. So as soon as I get them in, I will be uploading that here to my channel. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That way you won't miss it when it actually goes live. If you have any questions at all, put those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to give you the best answer I can. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.